Hello children, welcome to my channel Kids Ocean, an ocean of knowledge. Today in English, let us learn about picture composition. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Now children, look at these pictures carefully. Aren't they beautiful? Every picture is trying to say something. First, let us know what is a picture composition. A picture composition involves writing meaningful sentences based on the given picture by observing it carefully. Now let us know the important points to remember while writing a picture composition. Our first point is observe the given picture carefully. For example, see this is a picture of a beach and this is a picture of a classroom. Hence, by seeing such picture, you will come to know which scene is to be described. Now our second point is, identify the different things given in the picture. For example, trees, mountains, birds, lake, flowers, etc. To make it more clear, let us discuss about this picture. Now see this picture. Lush green mountains are looking so beautiful. Huge trees are there near the houses. Pretty lotus are floating in the lake. So students, now you understood how to describe the given things in the picture by observing it carefully. Now our next point is write about the main characters. Main characters means who is the main character in the picture and what they are doing. For example, look at these pictures. See, this is a picture of a garden. A boy is enjoying a ride on his bicycle. Two girls are having fun on the seesaw. A boy is taking a slide. A girl is playing on a swing. One more boy is playing in the sand. Now is it clear to you? I described all the main characters given in the picture. Now our fourth point is always write the picture composition in present tense. We should use helping verb that is is, am, are and ing words in the sentence. For example, a boy is sitting under a tree, the girls are gossiping in the class and etc. Now our fifth point is write grammatically correct sentences using proper punctuation marks and correct spellings. For example, Wow! Such an amazing party! So you should use proper punctuations with capital letters, with police stop in the given sentence. Now our sixth point is, to beautify the sentences, we can use adjectives like huge, pretty, colorful, etc. For example, to make it more clear, look at these examples. Look at this huge tree. The girl is wearing a pink dress and so on. Now the seventh point is, do not always begin the sentence with the word there. Now the eighth point is, write the picture composition in a paragraph form. Do not put numbers. Children, when you write a picture composition, try to write sentences in a paragraph form. Do not put numbers like 1, 2, 3 and so on. Now, the last point is, end the picture composition by writing an impressive and effective sentence. For example, the garden is neat and tidy. Everyone is looking so happy. To be more clear about picture composition, now students, let us do one picture composition together. Archit, 
प्लीज डिस्क्राइब दिस पिक्चर इन योर ओन सेंटेंसेस बेटा ओके टीचर दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ अ गार्डन द सन इज शाइनिंग ब्राइटली द क्लाउड्स आर फ्लोटिंग इन द स्काई मेनी ट्रीज आर देयर इन द गार्डन अ ब्यूटीफुल ट्री हाउस इज देयर ऑन अ ह्यूज ट्री इट हैज अ लैडर एंड अ फेंस a tire swing is hanging to the branch of the tree a boy is painting a picture a pretty girl is enjoying a ride on her bicycle a boy is catching fishes from the pond one more boy is clicking the photo of the tree house with his camera two boys are playing and having fun in the garden everyone is happy and enjoying the nature Now understood children how to write a picture composition so this is the perfect method of writing a picture composition thank you